hi and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to use the social sharing widget with the plus add-ons for Elementor. With this widget, you'll be able to add beautiful social sharing icons on your web pages and it will allow you to create almost an unlimited amount of variations. For instance, as you can see behind me, you can display them as a rounded shape, reveal a different color as you hover on top, display them horizontally with a plain or gradient background, you can display them vertically, you can reveal how many shares you've got, and you can even have a toggle button on top of an image, and many, many more. I'm Dave, and I'm bringing you this guest tutorial on behalf of the Plus Add-ons for Elementor. Make sure to subscribe to their channel, so that way you won't miss a single update. Okay, so let's dive right into it. And welcome to the plus add-ons for Elementor. In order to use the social sharing widget, the first step is to make sure that it is enabled. And for this, we're going to go to plus widget. In the search box, type in social. And next to our social sharing, you can see that we have a toggle switch. Just make sure this one is enabled, just like that. And once you're done, just click save. After this, we're going to performance and we're going to clear the cache. So click on this, click OK, and that's it, all done. And now that our widget is enabled and activated, we can use it and insert it in a new Elementor page. And in order to use that feature, you can either edit or create a new Elementor page. On the left hand side right here, if you scroll down, you will find all the plus essential add-ons right here, including our social sharing. Or you can type in the search widget, social. And here is our social sharing widget. So now you can just drag and drop it. And on the left hand side, we have all our settings for this element. And as you can see, the first one is the layout. So you have horizontal, vertical, or toggle. So basically toggle, it's a button. And once you click on it, it will display your social sharing buttons. So let's keep it horizontal for now. And then you can select among different styles as well. As you can see, you can select among different layouts. You can have the view type. So here you can select basically what you want to display. How much information do you want to display? Do you want to display the icons on their own? Icon with count. Text. Text and count. Like we had it, icon and text. Or do you want to display everything? Just like that. And then you can select how many columns do you want to use. So if you select automatic, if you have four social media platforms, it will automatically add four columns. Or you can do this manually. For instance, you can select two, and then you'll have two rows of two columns. You can select four, or set it as automatic, which is probably the easiest. And obviously you can select the alignments. So you can align to the left, you can align to the right, or you can center all your icons. Now, as you can see, by default, we have Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. Now, if you wanted to change this around, you can simply go to this section here. This is where our social media platform are being selected. And you can add or remove any item that you wish. So basically, let's say you don't need Pinterest, you can simply click the X and you can delete it just like that. Now, let's say you wanted to add a new social media icon, click add item. Click on social network, and now we can add Pinterest again. So as you can see here, the default title is network. So we'll have to type Pinterest here, and that's it. And once you're done, always make sure that you save and publish. Now all these social media icons have a black background color. So let me show you how you can change that color to reflect the actual color from those social media platforms. And for this, we're going to need the exact color code from these social platforms. So what we can do basically is simply go to Google and type in Facebook logo color code. And as you can see, this is the code itself. So the hexadecimal code. So what you can do is just highlight this, right click on it, copy. And now we go back to our Elementor page. We're going to select Facebook right here. And you're going to scroll down. And where you have background type, you're going to select the paintbrush. Click on this, and then we're going to add the color. Click on that, and now we can paste our code right here. And now, as you can see, we have our Facebook blue, 
And if you scroll down, you have background type. Select the paintbrush again. And we're going to add the color again. Paste it here. And there you go. And now we have full blue, full Facebook blue color right here. Now you can divide it in two sections. So you could select this one here and make it a little bit darker if you wanted to. Just like that. And that looks absolutely fine. And then you can repeat the same thing using the other social media. So for instance, here we can have Twitter logo, color code. You select that code. And back to our page, we can do the same with Twitter. Scroll down, select the background type, paste in the color. Scroll down, select the paintbrush, insert the color, control V. And we can make this one slightly darker, just like that. And that's it. We do the same with LinkedIn and Pinterest. Now we have the display counter option here. If you enable this, it will display a count right next to your social media icons, which is a very nice way to actually entice your visitors to share your content on their social media platforms. So you can change the value manually here. So we have 1.7K at the moment. So you can change this to 1.9 or even better, 2.1, whichever value you're comfortable with. Now let's have a quick preview and test our buttons. And for this, we can click on preview changes. And there you go. So let's say we're going to try Twitter. So if I click on this, it will automatically open my Twitter account and share it on my page, on my feeds. So very easy to use, as you can see. And it's the same with Facebook. If I click on Facebook now, it will automatically open the Facebook uh, sharing page, which is right here. And I can select where I want to share it. Do I want to share it with friends on my timeline, in a group, as an event, or on a page that I manage? But maybe you want to use your own link and redirect your visitors to a different location. So for this, you can click on your social media icon here, and then you can select custom URL. And if you enable this, you can see we have a new field appearing here. And right there, you can address, uh, enter the address to your new location, your custom URL. Now, let me show you a few different variations. And as you will see, the options are almost unlimited. So you can have them as a toggle switch like this one. You can display them horizontally with a rounded shape like this, a white background. Or if you hover on top, it will reveal the color. You can use gradient colors and have them next to each other like this. You can display them vertically. So it could be rounded shape, squarish. It could be a black background. Or again, if you hover on top, you will reveal the color and you can even have an outer border like this. Or you can have it fixed by the side like here. And it, will, it will always remain at the same place. Whether you scroll up or down, it will always be there. If we scroll down again, we have different options. You can see you can use pastel colors, bright colors. This one as well, next to each other with gradient backgrounds, very modern looking. And if you hover on top, as you can see, we will reveal a different set of information. If we keep scrolling down, you can display that on top of a picture as well, which is very nice, especially if you're running an e-commerce website, you could have that on top of your uh, different categories. You can also have a dashed or solid outline. You can use a simple gray background and just have the icon in itself in the color of your social media platform. And if we keep scrolling down, we have even more styles. As you can see, the options are literally unlimited. So the choice is yours. Now, let me show you how you can recreate this one here by the side, for instance. So let's go back to our Elementor page. OK, so the first thing we're going to remove the display counter. We're going to change horizontal to vertical. And we're going to just only display the icons on their own. Now we're going to go into style. And we're going to change the icon width. It's going to make them a little bit bigger. So you can just increase by dragging this by the side. So let's say maybe 55 would be perfect. And we can increase the size of the icons themselves. So maybe we're going to go up to 30. There you go. Now we're going to click on background. And now we want them to be close to each other. No gaps in between. So we're going to add zero here. There you go. Now we want to push our icons to the left hand side of the page. So basically for this, we're going to go into advanced. We're going to select positioning. And where we have position, click on the drop down menu and we're going to select fixed. 
There you go. So now you can see it's on the left hand side of our page, but it's not in the right position. So let's go and change this now. So as you can see, you can select top or bottom or whichever. So let's keep it on top and then we can offset that by a certain amount. So as you can see here, I can do this by using an, a certain amount of pixels. Now you can use percentage as well. If you use percentage, that means that it will be the same on any type of a screen. So if you put 50%, maybe let's put 40%. If you put 40%, it will be centered on any type of devices. It will always display properly. Now in order to test this feature here, we have to scroll up and down, but there's nothing on this page at the moment. So let me quickly import a demo content. So let me import this one here. And now that we have our demo content imported, I can scroll down the page, as you can see. It makes no difference to our social media icons. They remain in the same place and I can move up and down. It's all the same. They will remain there regardless. And we can have a quick look at what this would look like on a mobile device. So if we click on this, we can see immediately what this would look like on a mobile phone or maybe a tablet. Now let's have a look at how we can reproduce this effect here. So as you can see, if we hover on top, it will display a different set of information. It will show you how many times this post was shared. Okay, so let's say we want to insert it here underneath this section. So what we do first is add a new section, new structure, created. We can move it underneath. So we're going to place it here. We're going to edit our social sharing widget. And the first thing we need to do is obviously to remove the positioning and set it as default instead of fixed. And then we're going to take our widget bring it down and locate it, place it right here. Now we're going to click on our section and where it says content width, we're going to set this to 300 pixels, just like that. And now we're going to edit our social sharing widget again. So back to content. And this time we're going to set it as horizontal style three. The view type, we're going to display everything. So icon, text and count. How many columns do we need? It's two. For the alignment, we're going to select center. The content align center as well. Now at the moment, our icons have two different shades of color. So we're going to change this. So we click on the social media icon we want to change. And we're going to remove the background color. So we click on this one and remove it. And we do the same with the others with Twitter, LinkedIn, and Pinterest. Now let's address the size of our icon. Let's make them a little bit bigger. So for this, we're going to style icon, and we're going to change the icon width from 55 to 100. Now, as you can see, we have a few white uh, spacing here because we have uh, rounded borders, rounded edges. So let's go to background and we're going to set the border radius to zero, just like that. Now our icons and text are a little bit small, so let's make them a little bit bigger. So we're going to icon. We're going to change the icon size as well. So I'm going to go from 30 to maybe 50. There you go. And we do the same with the title. So to increase the font of the title, you go on to typography, click on the small pencil here, and we can change the font size right here by just typing a number. So let's go with 15 PX, and that looks absolutely fine now. And finally, we want to make sure that all the information is displayed properly. As you can see, we only have the count at the moment. So we go back into content. We go and click on Facebook. And right here where it says count label, we're going to type in share. And now if we hover on top, we can see it says seven share. And we can do the same with the others. And finally, let me show you how you can display a different color as you hover on top of your icons. And for this, click on your social media, select hover, and we're going to set a background color. So we're going to select the paintbrush and we're going to set our color. So this could be a dark black like this. And now if we hover on top, as you can see, we now have a black color, a change of color. And you can easily do the same by adding a gradient color. So like select gradient and you select your first color which could be black. And we're going to select our second color, which could be maybe a grayish color like this. And now if we hover on top, as you can see, we have a gradient color 
as a background. And you can change the angle as well. So it could be linear or radial. As you can see, it goes from the middle to the outside. Or we can have linear and change the angle as well. So instead of 180, it could be 120. And as you can see now, it is at an angle. And instead of the blue like we have at the moment, we can also add a gradient color immediately right here. So for this, we go and click on Normal. We scroll down, and instead of the paintbrush, we're going to select Gradient. And as you can see, we can now add a second color. So you can select the color you want. So maybe you can add a light purple like this. And now it looks absolutely great. Now, if your icons, social media icons, are not displaying when using the social sharing widgets, it means that you need to enable Font Awesome in your Elementor settings. So how do we do this? Very simple. We're going to Elementor, Settings, click on Advanced, and where you have Load Font Awesome for, enable this, click Yes, Save Changes. And if you go back to our page now and refresh, as you can see, now all our icons are displaying properly. So oh, there you go. This is how you can implement the social sharing widget on your website. And you will agree that it does add a lot of interest to your web pages. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. Again, my name is Dave and it was a real pleasure to present this tutorial on behalf of the Plus add-ons for Elementor. And make sure to subscribe to their channel.